In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple two-man pressure scheme that you can send from the right and from the left out of the Dime 146 defense. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel basically focuses on helping you improve in Madden, and today we are going to be taking a look at some pressure defense. But before we do, what I want to encourage you to do, if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, just do me a favor and join my Discord server. That's a place where we can all chat, we can all learn Madden together. You can ask me or any of my subscribers any questions. Um, and really my goal is to get that to 100 people. And once we get 100 people in that Discord server, then what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be releasing a free, full offensive and defensive guide for for everyone that's in that discord server so be sure to click the link you'll want to join that and that's where you will, we will send out the links for that guide now uh dime 146 we're going to be jumping into some pressure packages now this to me is the best blitzing defense in the game you don't have to do a lot to it to make it good that's what i like about it the play you want to come out in is db sting to buzz and you want to have cover two sync in your audibles and you want to have cover three sky in your audibles as you can see i have those in my audibles and then the audible down you can you can use db sting and this this is the best blitzing defense in the game it's a little bit better than the 236 in my opinion but the 236 gives you a little bit better run defense this is better pass defense so let's just go into it and jump in so db sting to buzz and you're going to notice that the linebackers come into the gaps now if we want to send the lot the left pressure we're going to audible to cover two sync if we want to send the right pressure we're going to audible to cover three so i'm going to audible to the left and you see here i'm going to go to the cover two uh sync and I'm just going to slide this guy in, just like so, and I'm going to slide this guy in. Now from there, what I like to do is take that guy and, and put him, um, take that linebacker on the right side, and I like to put him in a man assignment on the running back. And then from there, you're pretty much good. Uh, honestly, the blitz is set up. Um, you want to crash, you want to crash your, um, oops, you want to make sure you get this angle right here. This is the money right here. And I'll show you in a second some other things we can do with this setup. You see how he's got it crooked? That basically means he needs to heat. You've brought him in a little bit too much. Now, uh, we'll see. I wonder why he's doing that when I click off of him. This is not going to work if he's not. We'll just snap the ball and see what's going on. Something weird is going on with that pressure. So, basically what you're going to do, um, basically what you're going to do with this, real quick, and when you come in and DBT Sting 2, just, just trust me on this piece of advice, you're just wanna gonna, you're going to want to man align and press coverage. What that's going to do is it's going to set your guys up in a specific way. Then you're going to simply audible to the cover to sync. Now, as you see here, um, you see how it's flipped the play? Eh. You want to re-man align, I'm sorry. Dang it. Corner's not pro the corner's not cooperating with me. And the reason, I'll explain why you want to do this in just a second. But I think, I think you have to make sure this is in your coaching adjustments. Um, let me check my coaching adjustments really quick. So in your settings, and you can do all this from the preplay menu, um, in your coaching adjustments, but on game, you see how I have auto flip on. You want to turn that off. Anytime you're in a blitzing defense, you want to make sure that's turned off. I think I, for some reason, had it on. Was testing some things out. But let's jump back into that. So make sure auto flip is off. And a lot of times for newer players, auto flip will be on, and that's an issue for your offense or for your defense. Okay, so try it again. Man align, press, and then you're just going to slide these guys in. Now, you see there's the blitz angle we're looking for, and we can use this guy right here in a man assignment on the running back. At the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is you're going to see pressure off that left edge every single time. When you get that blitz angle, you're going to get pressure off that left edge. Let me go over the adjustments really quickly one more time. So you're going to audible to cover two sync. Okay. Then what I like to do is man align and press coverage, and then you're going to slide these guys in. Okay, and then you're going to QB contain. And from there, that's it. The blitz is set up, and there's some ways to make it a little bit better, but as you can see here, pressure is going to scream off that left edge. Now, there's a couple of adjustments that we can do to make this blitz even better. I like to send as few people at the quarterback as possible. So all the same setups, you're going to slide this guy in, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take the 
backside guy, and you're going to put him on a QB spy. QB spy. And it's going to hold. It's it, The pressure's not going to be as advanced. As you can see here, we end up getting picked up. But it's going to it's gonna basically essentially roll the pass protection. So, and you can do this out of a multitude of ways. But what I like to do, you can blitz, hot blitz, you can basically bluff blitz him or QB spy him. Either one will work. You see the bluff blitz was a little bit more consistent. But make sure you pass commit because if you don't pass commit that and they run like a play action, then your bluff blitz is going to go. So make sure you pass commit on this. And then I'm just going to bluff blitz him. And then I can man that nose guard up on the running back, which is going to effectively make him into a quarterback spy. And you'll see you're going to get two-man pressure at the quarterback. Now, we can do the same thing on the other side of the formation. And the reason I like this is because the Dime 146 is very universal. You see how they're in the same gaps? So from here, you'll see I'm going to go to cover three. I'm going to do everything the same. And then I'm just going to slide that guy in off the right edge. And you're going to see at the snap of the ball, you're now going to send pressure from the right edge. This is why the Dime 146 is so effective. It's effective because you can send pressure from the right and from the left, and it looks exactly the same. And the funny part is they're from completely different coverage shells. One's from a cover two, one's from a cover three. Now, if you're going to run a cover three, what I recommend doing is shading coverage down and then shading coverage up, and you're going to turn these outside guys into cloud flats. You know, can you run the two-man setup? where you bluff blitz the backside end and you man up that guy on the running back. Let's see if that works. And snap of the ball. And you see here we're going to be able to get that pressure off the right edge. This is a really good blitzing scheme. Um, really, really good. In my opinion, it's the best of Madden 20. And you're able to get pressure sending very, very few people at the quarterback. This is why it's so effective. So fast forward, and we're going to go through... And we're just going to bluff blitz that backside guy so he holds that that guy. We're going to come into this se session right here, and you're going to see this two-man is going to be very consistent. It's a very, very good blitz. Now, the offense, the way that they're going to have to pick this up is they're going to have to block a running back, which, again, you're only sending two people. You have locked down coverage. You're only sending two people, which, in my opinion, makes this so, so, so effective. And there's a lot of hot routes and things that you can do to – to, to really mess with the offense. But here you see we're going to set that two-man pressure, and he's going to block the running back. And as you can see, the running back is going to cut block him, and now um, the quarterback has a pretty decent chunk of time to be able to make a read in the pocket. Now, same thing on the backside. So if, we, if the running back is on the right, okay, and we send pressure from the left, though, the question is we're going to send that two-man from the left, and we're going to ask the question, can the running back pick up the blitzing corner? Snap the ball, you see he cannot. He can't get over there. Part of the reason that we want to man him up is because it's going to make it a very difficult uh, block for him to have because it's effectively what's going to happen is this, this guy right here, Reed, is going to go into a quarterback spy, and you'll see no matter what I do from a spread set, um, I'm not, my running back's not going to get over there. He's not going to pick up that two-man pressure. This is part of what makes this blitzing defense so effective. Now, if they ID, which this is a popular tactic that people will do. So again, you set up your dime 146 pressure. Okay, you do the bluff blitz, you do the man up. So you're only sending two. And now what they're going to do is they are going to ID the guy on, the, on that side. And now you'll see snap of the ball with the ID. Even with the ID of the mic, the running back can't get over to that side. The running back can only block to the right of the formation. He can't block to the left of the formation. So then what the offense is going to have to do, and this is why as a rule of thumb, I like to blitz to the side that the running back's not on. So you'll see in this example. So what the offense is going to have to do is they're going to have to slide protect to the left and double team effectively they're going to have to double team that outside blitzer now this is going to create all kinds of issues for them down the with in a, in a second at the snap of the ball you see here it's going to pick up the pressure and now he can roll he can make a read so now what we can do is we can send the pressure from the right correct because in theory they're going to slide protect to the left 
So here, we're going to set up that pressure to come from the right side. And what you'll see is, if they slide to the right and they double team this guy, which they can't, snap of the ball, and you see the pressure's coming off that right edge. Now he does break the sack, but the pressure is coming off that right edge. So now what they can do, now what they can do is effectively, and this is a, any good offensive player is going to figure out how to do this, but essentially what you're going to do is you're going to force them to block the running back. Now, if I block the running back on the right side of the screen, you're going to see I should pick up the pressure off the right edge. As you can see, I am able to do that. I am able to pick up that pressure. This is where I say it's really important on your defense to have a power move specialist in this position. The Seahawks don't have it. That's why I would never recommend using them in regs. But this is where the play DB Sting 2 buzz comes in. Once they figure out how to pick up your base rush, you can go to something like this. This is an all-out blitz. As you can see, we're going to send six. Now, we're going to take our slot guys, and I like to play them really, really aggressively. And I basically like to turn it into a, a covered zero, essentially within zone. And I'll do something like this. A lot of people, if you can bring these guys down if you have time, it's actually really good on the defense. It's going to help your defense. But you'll see right here what's going to happen is they're going to block the running back, and now what they're going to do is they're going to double team this outside guy on the left. And they're going to ID the guy they want their running back to block, which is this guy right here. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see we're going to get gap pressure from that left edge. So if you send the six-man version of it, you're going to guarantee yourself pressure unless they do this. And let me show you. A lot of formations that you'll face um, in this year's game, what they, what they can do is they can basically take this tight end here and they can motion him to the left side. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow them to double team Make sure my, um, whoops, drop my controller. It's going to allow them to double team. So I'll show you this one more time. So if they come out in something like Y trips, this is a good example. This is going to mimic what they could do from Shotgun Bunch. So you see Dime 146, DB Sting 2 Buzz. So now what they're going to do is they're going to basically block their tight ends. So they're going to max protect. And then they know that the, the trick is to effectively double team this guy on the left, right? And then they're going to slide back to the right like this. And in theory, this is going to pick up the entire pressure. And you'll see at the snap of the ball, pressure's picked up, and now they can make a read. But they've had to allocate a significant amount of resources to picking up this pressure. So that's kind of one of the things that you're getting into when you work with this dime 146 pressure. In my opinion, it is the best pressure in the game. Now, you could literally, if you wanted to, you could leave that guy blitzing. And by leaving that guy blitzing, it's going to change everything for the, the offense. You'll see their ability to pick up the pressure. If they just go max protect, they're not going to, I mean, they are able to pick up the pressure, but it's not going to last for very long. So Again, there are ways to pick this pressure up, but it forces the offense to play a specific style of football, and they really can't pick it up any other way. So that is a, 